what is up guys it is those usual effects here and i'm just starting out this new channel as a bit of a side project it's my first time ever making a youtube channel so i'm really excited but i really apologize for the low quality and but anyways we're doing this for a good time and some good music so let's just have as much fun with it as we can so basically what's gonna happen is i'm gonna talk about five songs a week that i think are really good they can be old, they can be new, mainstream, whatever, just overall good music that I think hasn't been shared with as many people as it should and be. I'm also going to keep this channel open to like anything else. If you guys want to send me some music or like send me a mixtape to review or something, I'm up for it. And because we're going to try and make this all about, you know, just me, you, the fans and good music. So, and I'm almost into any genre. So everything's cool. Also, there's no such thing as mainstream because the song can have 10 million plays or it can even have 10,000 plays. It doesn't matter as long as it's good music. So let's get into the first five songs of the week. I hope you guys like them. Alright, so the first song I'm going to talk about is For You by Black Bear. It is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated songs and one of the most underrated artists I've ever heard because he's got just the right vocals and just the right beats to go with them. And it's a perfect listening experience, even if you're at the club partying it up or at home just having a cup of coffee. It isn't as very new or anything, but it's been on my playlist ever since I heard it last week. And it's just been on repeat, guys. It's an amazing song. You have to check it out. Right, so the second song I'm talking about is Flexecution by Logic. We all know who Logic is. We all know Young Sinatra. And his latest mixtape, Bobby Tarantino, dropped just a few days ago. And he said he just wanted to have fun with this mixtape and didn't want to make it a huge, incredible album like The Incredible True Story. But that's exactly what he did with this song. This song has been teasing forever. And when it finally dropped, I think it was worth the wait because the beats and his signature classy flow it just makes the song amazing and it reminds us why he's becoming one of the biggest names in the hip-hop industry the song is probably the most underrated of all five and it's a rock song and holy shit something with guitars and people playing instruments but yeah i actually do listen to rock music believe it or not and i can just hear all the comments saying that isn't rock music that's alternative rock okay dude it's rock music just calm down and it is really really underrated last i checked it had like a thousand views on youtube and this was the last thing that the band uploaded in three years so it's pretty sad in case they're actually you know quit but i hope they haven't because they are really talented and i really if they're listening right now i'd just like to say do not give up on music guys you guys are really fucking good you guys heard about flume right he's really become famous after his new EP Skin dropped and his singles like Say It and Never Be Like You were really famous. So this is one of his older songs called Over You and it's actually one of his first ever published songs. He had sent this along with Paper Thin and Sleepless to this record label for a contest. He'd won and not only had he won but the actual manager of the record label had come down to his place and said, you know what, we want to sign you and I want to become your personal manager. So you could say this is the song that skyrocketed him into fame and got him actually started and stuff. And if it impressed them, I'm sure it'll impress you all. So please check it out. It's amazing. The last song I'm going to be talking about is Sweatshirt by Jacob Sartorius. This has to be one of the best songs out there right now. And okay, I can't even say this with a straight face. I'm sorry, guys, don't click away just yet. It's just a joke. Uh, I don't want this song being inflicted on any more people. Jesus Christ, it's already famous enough. But uh, so the last song I'm actually going to be talking about is Schizophrenic Love by Kato. Now, this really caught my eye only because of the album art. Like, I was surprised. I was just surfing SoundCloud and I looked and I saw this and I was like, wow, okay. Very, very underrated, bro. I couldn't even find this guy on any social media somehow i they had linked his twitter i just checked him out and he's actually a struggling musician i guess you could call but this is one of his good songs it's a bit weird but i'm sure if you are into that kind of music into like a slow hip-hop vibe you guys will love it and it's pretty sick just have a good time with it Okay, thank you guys so much for sticking by this entire video. Even if you didn't like all the songs I was talking about or aren't into the genre that I'm talking about. But definitely leave a like rating. If you enjoyed even a single one of these songs, it really does help me out. As you know, this is just like a first episode. Remember, all the links for the SoundClouds are going to be in the description below, including mine, in case you guys want to follow that. And if there's anything you guys want me to listen to, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to check it out. And it might 
just get featured on the next episode so until then guys thank you for watching and most importantly keep on listening i'll see you guys then